Super Heroku is an Android application for managing the uh, the apps you are hosting on the Heroku service. Uh, if you are a Ruby on Rails, PHP, uh, Python, or Java web developer, um, there's a good chance that you have heard of Heroku because it's a great scalable, um, cheap, easy solution for hosting um, applications in the cloud. It's an amazing service and so um, currently it's it's huge. They have over 300,000 apps being hosted and um, I viewed that as a chance to uh, make a an application that allows developers to manage their workers and dinos and view other information um, on their hosted uh, applications from mobile and so this is it uh, on the running on the Android emulator it's currently just listing um, all of the applications that I'm hosting on on Heroku um, and so if I were to select one of my apps and it's a little bit slow um, just because I'm I'm recording this um, uh, and using the already slow Android emulator. So once you select one of your applications, you have a few different choices. Um, one of which is uh, resources. If I click on that, that'll show me uh, the workers and dinos um, that I'm currently running. It's loading the information from the web from the Heroku API. Uh, it'll show me what stack I'm running and the repo, slug, and data sizes. Um, and so once this is done loading, you'll see. So uh, the stack I'm running is Cedar. Uh, my repo size is about 15 megabytes. Slug size is 31 megabytes data. I only have 0 0.08 megabytes of data in there. And then, of course, you can click on the URL to your application so that will just take you to your browser and you can um, test out your app and then also it shows you the git URL um, that you can use to uh, uh, actually you know push stuff or pull stuff from your git repository um, that's hosted by Heroku remotely and um, also you can reset the number of dinos and workers that you um, have uh, for the application. Next one is tools. Uh, once again, it'll take a little. Okay, there we go. Um, so here we can view the application logs, the cron logs, um, and the application configuration. Um, I'm just going to show you the config real quick. The uh, app logs and cron logs both just um, show you a whole bunch of text that's returned from the Heroku API. Um, and so it, there's nothing overly exciting about that, but nonetheless, if you're trying to manage your uh, application, you know, in a, on an advanced level remotely, then uh, it is important sometimes to see those logs. And so under the configuration window, we have um, a whole bunch of of information that um, may be irrelevant for most people, or maybe more for the advanced users. But um, we can see the shared database URL. Um, the gem path and the rack environment, Rails environment, language. So a uh, huge list of, of things that you can look at there. And if you cl uh, click the back button, it'll take you all the way back to the previous menu. Um, add-ons, I don't have any add-ons currently, so I'm not going to show you that. Uh, and collaborators. Um, with the collaborators view, you can actually do a few um, different things um, once it's done once it's done loading I'll show you okay so here's me um, listed as a collaborator and if I click on myself or any other collaborator that might be in the project I can select to send an email to this person or I can remove this person and if I don't want to do anything I can just hit the back button um, and also we have a little menu that pops up here if you hit the menu key 
you can add a collaborator or refresh the list. So I will click on add and um, in this you can input an email and uh, when you click add it'll make a uh, a request to the Heroku API trying to add that email to your application they will be notified and they can begin working on that project so that's pretty much um, all there is to Super Heroku currently there are more features to come uh, it'll also be coming out for for uh, iPhone before too long and so thanks for watching and um, I hope you uh, go and try it out. Thanks.